Welcome to my channel folks. In today's video, we are going to see how to push Amazon Guard Duty findings into an SNS topic. What happens is when Amazon finds some security incident, the findings are put into the Guard Duty dashboard. We need to get it into an ITSM tool or a security monitoring team's notification uh, channel or an email address so that we can get the security experts to look at those events and take remedial action. So to push those findings, we are going to use CloudWatch events, which will trigger our Lambda function. And finally, they will be sent into an SNS topic, which the security team would have subscribed to. As usual, I have written this article with some prerequisites in mind. So once we follow that, we will be able to set it up in our account. So the first prerequisite, as you can see here, is an SNS topic and an email address that is subscribed to the topic. I have gone ahead and set up a topic in my account. If you need help in setting up an SNS topic in your account, go ahead and watch my video on setting up the SNS topic and it will help you with that. And next thing is remember that you will need the AR number of an SNS topic so that you can update the IAM policy with that. So what is the IAM role? We need an IAM role for Lambda to execute and also to publish to the SNS topic. So let us go ahead and check the IAM role that we have here. Let me go back. I have set up an IAM role called as guard duty findings to SNS and I have attached the manage policy AWS Lambda execution role. In addition to that, we need one more policy as well. So the, I have given the policy details here. Let us go ahead and copy that so that we can go ahead and update it in our policy. So I'm going to say attach inline policy and then I'm just going to choose JSON here and then I'm going to paste the policy that we have copied here. Remember, we need to update the ARN number here. So I'm just going to take this off and put in the ARN number from my topic. So I'm just copying this and I'm going to go over and put this in here. And then I'm going to say review policy and give this policy a name. I'm going to call this guard duty findings to SNS policy and then click on create policy and there you go it is attached now to the our role. So this is the role we our Lambda function is going to use to push messages to the SNS topic. So finally let us go ahead and get started with our Lambda function which is going to do the bulk of the work for that. So the Lambda function has a couple of uh, configuration parameters. The one is the SNS topic that you can customize so that uh, it can push it to the particular topic where we just now gave the permission and the code is as usual attached in this repository so you can go ahead and open it. So let me just go ahead and do that for you now. And then here we have, let me copy this code here. So let's copy that and then let us move over to Lambda dashboard. Click on create function. I'm just going to call this guard duty to SNS. And then remember it is written for Python 3.6. So let us do that. And then here I'm going to choose the existing role that we just now created. So let us go ahead and do that. So here we have the role that we just now created and attached here. Click on create function. And then let us go ahead and add the code itself that we copied. So let us scroll down, remove this and then put in the code there and remember we need to put in the code ARN number here so you can go ahead and update the ARN number here or what you can do is you can go down and put in the ARN number here as well you can all you have to do is say that the SNS topic ARN as it is mentioned here just going to put it there so we can modify it later as well go to the topic pick the ARN number and put it in here so if you want, you can go ahead and change any of these values, but that won't be necessary. Let us go ahead and save this function. And if you notice, we have not configured any triggers for this Lambda function so far. For trigger, setting up the trigger, we are going to head over to the CloudWatch events and then go ahead and do that. So if I go back to my article, it will say the same thing. So we have done with the IAM policy. We are done with the Lambda functions and we are going to configure the CloudWatch trigger, triggers now. So I'm going to go to my CloudWatch dashboard. 
under the event section you will have rules i'm going to click on rules and then make sure that your event pattern is selected and then under service name go ahead and type in guard duty and we just need to get notification only when there is in finding so select that under the target section click on add target and then we are going to choose our lambda function here so automatically it lists the available lambda functions i'm going to select that one and scroll down click on configure details so i'm going to give a name for this one and make sure the state of that rule is enabled once it is mentioned that go ahead and click on create rule so now if i go back to my lambda dashboard and refresh my screen i should have the triggers also added let me open it again and you can see here the cloudwatch event triggers is added and if i click on that and scroll down you can see here the rule has also been added so we are all set with our function and only problem is our guard duty doesn't have any findings right now so that uh, we will not be getting any email so to test that everything is working fine what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go over to settings and click on generate sample findings so in a short while my account will have some dummy findings in my account and those will be pushed as lambda notifications and i should be getting an email anytime now so let me hop over to my email address where you can see here while i was testing some email messages have come with the previous notification of the lambda duty findings so i'm just going to wait for a few minutes so that i will get the notifications of the new dummy findings that my guard duty has right now while you are waiting we can also go over to our lambda and we can go ahead and check the monitoring section and see whether my lambda has been invoked by any of the findings and that's another way to check whether everything is working fine or not there you go i have seen a lot of lambda findings or guard duty findings have triggered my lambda function so let us go over to my gmail and see whether i have received notifications for that there you go you have latest findings from guard duty pushed to my email address for example if i open the first one that says outbound port scan there is a port scan happening from one of my instances to an external instance and that has been documented here and it gives me all the information of where the instance is located what is the activity that is happening good enough for the security team as a starting point to go ahead and look at your account and see whether that has been compromised or it has been some security testing that is happening in your account so that is how you push your findings from guard duty to sns topic so that it can be picked by security teams or itsm tools for auto ticketing if you have any problem in setting it up in your account go ahead and put them in your comment section i'll be happy to help you with them thanks for watching happy learning